to Arsenal. What are you saying, Hussam? Could that be a game changer for the Gunners? Let Mo go first on this one because me, I have very unpopular opinion on Arsenal now. Go ahead, Mo. No, I think Isak is going to be fantastic signing for them. He can play on the wing. He can play a striker. I think this is... Now, this is what Arsenal need. Move on from the project players. Just get ready-made players. Game-changing, depending on what Man City does uh, and, and, and who they bring in. But I think Alexander Isak... Can I, can I say something? Alexander Isak should have been the guy that they brought in last summer. Someone similar to that. We're going to go back to that again. They should have brought in someone like Alexander Isak last summer. They didn't. It's a year It's a year late, but late is better than never. I actually think he's a fantastic signing for them. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to pay that much money for him or Newcastle is going to let it, are, are going to let him go, depending on how Newcastle view Arsenal next season. Do they view them as a top four contender with them or a title contender that Newcastle aren't in? But I, I think it's a fantastic signing. This is what Arsenal need. Forget the guy that plays in Sporting Lisbon. Just get this guy. Forget Sesko from Leipzig. Get Alexander. If you can pay the money, get him. Get Alexander Isak. That I think Isak is one of the most overrated players in the English Premier League. Yeah. I think Isak is extremely overrated. I, I'm not quite sure that he actually suits the way Arsenal play football to begin with, to be honest with you. I think... Arsenal, if they want to win anything next season, need to be serious this summer. This is the serious. They're, and they're being... One second, Mo. See how I let you speak first? No, forget that monologue thing. This let is me, serious. Let me, let me uh, Alexander, can, why is Alexander Isak not serious? Well, let's let's have a discussion here. Why Alexander Isak not serious? Tell you why. Signing Isak would be the equivalent of signing Dominic Solanke. Both oh, are... No. <laughs> Both are equal level strikers. Both are equal level strikers. You can go do all, oh my God, all you want. I think Arsenal this summer need to 100% be serious in the transfer window and sign ready-made world-class players. This is the Alisson Van Dijk window for Arsenal. And if they don't sign any serious player, then I don't see them winning anything again next season. I think they need Kimmich level players. I think they need the best of the best. I think Arsenal Football Club are at a level now where they have built up their club, where they have built up their institution, where they have built up their reputation around Europe for being one of the best uh, run clubs, one of the best clubs, one of the biggest clubs in Europe. Big up to you, Muki. What you cannot do as Arsenal is start the summer with the likes of Isak and Zubimendi because it shows me that you're not going to win anything. That's the, just the reality of the situation. I think Arsenal need to be a bit more serious, a bit more... Um, strong with the transfer approach if i am arsenal i'm going to sign kimmich now i'm going to sign the best of the best players available in world football currently this 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 moment i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna call real madrid you guys want mbappe they give you everything you want for rodrigo as an example like i'm gonna go all out and sign the best of the best you cannot you cannot get these players isaac i don't think is a premier league winning striker that's what i'll say this is what Would you I think take isaac I employ Nunez, Suraida. And actually, no, I wouldn't take Isak. I don't want Isak. This is what you think. Huh? That's not a fact. This is what Sam thinks. Yeah, I don't like Isak. I don't like Isak. No, okay. I think he's a bit overrated. But don't say Isak. Do you think Mateta is better than Isak? There you are. See now how he's going to exaggerate? Yalla. Give me another dumb dumb. You question. said so long. Okay, hold on. What's your Terry? next dumb question? Terry Floors. Who's better? Mateta or Solanke? Solanke. A little bit, right? Marginally. So it's not an exaggeration. Do you think Isak is way better than both? Yes. So what Hussam is saying is outrageous. Uh, well, Sam, listen, I understand like Rod Rodrigo would be would be an excellent signing for Arsenal. He is not going to leave this summer for Real Madrid, though. That is not going to happen. So it's pie in the sky. But I believe that Isak could start and play for a team like Real Madrid. Not over Mbappe, because if Mbappe plays centrally, he's better. But I think Isak could go to a team like Real Madrid and score 20... Play? as the number nine, he could go to... Say Mbappe wasn't going there. So you've got to understand what I'm saying here. Not yeah, but that's because they have Hosello. But hang on, hang on. But, 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 but the point... I'm, but you're not letting me finish my point. Say Mbappe retires this summer. He's going to go and become a, an actor. So he leaves. If they signed Isak at Real Madrid, he could score 30 goals in all comps, 35 goals in all comps 100%. in a season for him. He is that good. He Isak could start and play for nearly any club in Europe. Nearly any club. In, he is so good in my opinion. So I do believe he'd be a serious signing. I believe he'd be a very serious signing. He's got great a great touch. He's got skill. He's got speed. He's clinical. 
you couldn't put a question mark over injury record. You could do that. But I, I don't see why he wouldn't be a top, top striker for Arsenal. And look how many goals he scored for, for Newcastle this year. Arsenal were a better team that create more. He could conceivably score 20 plus league goals a season. They're already scoring in the high 80s. He could easily push them to a team scoring 95 to 100 goals in a campaign. He, he's got the ability to push them to that next level. And what he would do really well is bring all the other players around him into play as well. So, yeah, I, I disagree with you hugely. I think Isak is a very serious signing for anyone in the Premier League. This is serious. I, 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 I get where you guys are coming from and it might work out, but it's just it's just my unpopular opinion. I don't really rate Isak like that. I think he's a good player. I don't think he's anything special. So, who's but, a, uh, so Arsenal need a striker. Who's, who would you But have But, here's, but here's, here's, the th- here's the thing. I think uh, with, with Arsenal right now, I just don't know, man. I just expect them to go for the world class level players right now. I just don't know if 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 that's necessarily world class players level for them. I think they need much better. I think they need much better. Who's better if than they go to Newcastle? By the way, they need to go get Bruno Gamares. That's who they need to go get. They're getting the wrong guy. Isak is better than Bruno Gamares as a football as as someone who will benefit them. What are you talking about? Bruno Gamares, Declan Rice, Odegaard will be the best midfield in the league. That's absolute bollocks. Yeah, deny it. Go ahead. Yeah, was, but... I, I don't like Bruno Gamares. I don't think he's that good anyway. Yeah, but you don't like Bruno Gamares. Based on what? Yalla, let me play your game. Based on what, Mo? Based I, actually, on what... I, can, I can break Cassidy. it down. I can break it down. He's too slow, right? He is defensively. He's too slow defensively. His passing is not elite. He's not elite, right? And I think... Who has, who has, has elite a... passing as a DM other than Rodri? That's a fake point again. So that's 2-0 to Hussain. Carry on. What, do you, what does that mean? I don't get what you're saying. The only DM with elite passing in the whole world is Rodri. So don't even go there. Carry on though. Yalla, 2 nil Hussain. Carry on. But you said you want to go to world-class players. So do you want... So you, your argument against me is that but there is no only one player. But you're arguing them. I think they get Kimmich is better than him. 100% Kimmich is better. 100% I actually Kimmich think Frankie de Jong. I agree Frankie de Jong is better. Khalas, Khalas, I debunked your point. 5 nil Mo. Just no, wait. how did you debunk my point? Bruno Gamares is world class. Bruno Gamares is a world class player. You think Bruno Gamares is world class and Isak isn't? Yes, that's why Man City want him. Don't be silly Mo. Man City is not out here signing any Tom, Dick, and Harry. Strange. They want the best of the best. This take is very strange. But anyway, this is long not story, a strange take at all. Bro, Gamaras, Declan Rice, Odegaard will be the best midfield in the league. By far. It, By far the best midfield. Is it, is it better than Foden, Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne? Kevin De Bruyne is not fit half the time anyway. Okay, is it better than <laughs> Paqueta, Foden, and Rodri? That's not the midfield that they'd play. Okay. That's 2 uh, 10. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, you want, that's you want me to go on? Play. You guys are laughing. They wouldn't play that. That's two tens and a six. Pepe ain't going to do that. He literally did that in the last game. He played Kevin De Bruyne, Foden, and Rodri. That's what I'm at home. Wow. But Everyone's that's most of the home. game. Habibi, Man City play Definitely 16 not. teams like this this all season. They don't play Arsenal Liverpool every day. They don't. No, Isaac might be a good signing. Does he okay, profile them? He, he changes his mind. He's wrong. Know. He's wrong. He's wrong. I don't know. He's wrong. Carlos, he's wrong. He changes uh, Arsenal fan here. The Arsenal fans said, if we uh, can afford 110 million, it should be Victor Rushman they sign. Uh, do, you th- do you think that's? The, do you feel like that's what they've got to do for Sam Gar for a player like him? No, because I think Arsenal like got overrated as well. I'm so honest with you. I don't think Arsenal is that good who either. Should, who, who do you should? Harry Kane, for example, Hassan? Is that who yes. should he go for? Yes. Do you really? You know, you, you know, I told Terry this idea from last summer. Sam gave us speeches about being realistic play. and then he comes up with these takes, bro. Do you think Man. if Arsenal call right now for Harry Kane to come to, to, buy, to, to Arsenal, they go offer Bayern Munich 80 million, they won't sell him? No. Yes. They won't, they won't sell, sell him? Won't you have two different him. answers. No, no, both of us agree with they won't sell him. Yeah. I think they will sell him. Based on what? Age, cost, everything. That they need Harry Kane though, Bayern. Because, because they will have to spend the 80 million on someone else that is worse Bayern than Harry Kane. Bro. Place. You guys know no. Kane ain't gonna win the, ain't gonna win anything again next season as well. <laughs> it's mad, crazy. isn't it? That he not only didn't win a trophy, he finished fucking third. <laughs> you know he won't even be in the German super next season. That's how bad that is. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. So if they Bayern never goes and win the cup, the they're gonna cup. play. They're going to play whoever's second, I think, Stuttgart. Stuttgart. There's Stuttgart in it. That's a crazy yeah. season for Bayern Munich ever. Finishing third. The guy doesn't even have a chance to win a Super Cup. He's never going to get a medal in his life, bro. It's going to be the Audi Cup. This guy's going to live his life, and he's going to have the Audi Cup. 
like the Audi Cup thing. It's crazy. But anyway, for Arsenal, though, I think the question Arsenal need to ask themselves is, is that, forget the signings. I know they're going to go and get something out there. What's next for you? Do you keep Arteta next season and then what's and you put an ultimatum or you give him a new contract now? And I know they're going to have a show about the Arteta contract and everything. All the signings that Arsenal will do won't matter until you know the future because if you don't give Arteta a contract and you sign someone like Isak, you're going to tell him, come in, you're going to work with Arteta for one year and we don't know what's happening later. Mm -hmm. I think Declan Rice joined Arsenal for a project under Mikel Arteta. I think so. And Mikel Arteta convinced him to join Arsenal for this youth, young project that is pro progressive. You know what I mean? This is this is very tricky. It's very tricky for Arsenal this window. Forget the youngsters. Forget signing youngsters. Go sign ready-made players like Isak, you know, like Frankie de Jong, like Kimmiches, and, and whoever you're going to go and get. But Arteta is the big question. Everything, the eyes are on him. Because Pep Guardiola might leave or might not leave next season. But a lot of fans demand trophies and stuff like this. And now even the people that say Arteta in demand trophies. This Arsenal team is a mystery to me because I don't know how to treat them. They're a very good team, an amazing team, right? They pushed Pep and fine margins tipped this, the title towards City, the, the young man's son, a, a referee's decision, a miss here and there from Arsenal. But you've got to ask yourself a question, when does it stop? When should Arsenal mm -hmm. demand a win? When should Arsenal well, sign? I think, I, think they are, I, think, I think they are. I think that most majority of majority of level-headed Arsenal fans you speak to, they are demanding a win. But of course, they apply context to the situation, and I think they've already started to do that. Um, but again, the club shouldn't be built basing its signings purely on Arteta being there. It should be basing its signings on where Arsenal are, and irrespective with or without Arteta, we're going to continue to move forward because that's they're in a position now to start to start behaving that way. Yeah. Because they're up near the top of the tree again. That's how you stay there. If you sell the idea that you'll play for Arteta, you might sign someone and they win the league. And then the next year they win the league. But then Arteta says, now I want to leave. What, what, the, all them players go, oh, I lose. You've got to sell Arsenal to players, not so much Arteta. Uh, Super Chat here says Rasmus, Hoyland, or Isak. I'm going to back my boy Isak, uh, my, my boy ha uh, Hoyland on that. That's what I'm doing. I'm just going to back him. I'm just Isak. backing him. Isak. Uh, this uh, I would burst if we got Rodrigo at Arsenal, to be honest. Yeah, it'd be a brilliant signing, but he's just not girly. Like right now, why is he going to leave Real Madrid with him? But I know that there's competition, but I think Rodrigo might be a player that other teams can sign in a season or two, but he is not going to leave with all that's coming his way. He's still going to play a lot of games. But also, there is, if Rodrigo goes, that means Saka is going to sit on the bench. If Arsenal fans are okay with this, it's fine. Oh my God, Rodrigo will not play on the right, man. He'll play on the left. Stop. Uh, they play tonight, uh, but if Leverkusen win the Europa and their domestic cup, will it be the greatest single season in European football history? And if someone disagrees, tell me why no one has ever done it before. Great question. If they do, if they do both, it's one of the greatest. I would still say that man, as a Man United fan, I would still say our treble is better because it's in the Champions League, which is a harder competition than who we went up against. Their league title win is amazing. Do I think the Bundesliga is as hard to win as the, the league was for City last season? No, I think it's a, an, a it's a very hard league, but it isn't as hard as others. So, by, so when you look at Man United and Man City's treble, when you look at Barcelona's treble, yeah, uh, when you look at Inter's treble, I, th I believe at the particular times they were done, their leagues were harder. But I'm not playing down what Bayer by Leverkusen have done. What, the, what stands there is above other, other teams is, though, is that all of the teams I've mentioned were looked at as the best or one of the best teams in Europe when they did it. No one predicted Leverkusen winning the league. No one predicted them winning the Europa League. The fact they're doing all of it, that are, that element makes it amazing. So it's one of the best. And they're undefeated. Those, and they're undefeated. Yeah, those. So listen, if people want to crown it that, I'm not going to sit here and go, that's a mad take. I wouldn't personally, it, but it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, Isak overrated. Uh, Bayern would sell Kane to Arsenal for 80 million. Terry, you can you can keep calling him Hamza uh, until he apologizes. This is not uh, my uncle Hassan. Yeah, maybe that's why. Uh, maybe that's why subconsciously I keep calling you Hamza because you're saying mad things. Um, they yeah. played in Australia today. No one even knew or cared. Well, in fairness, they did, they did set. Uh, they sold out like 76,000 tickets. Yeah. So uh, some people definitely did. Uh, round two. Yeah. 
Uh, hi, hi Terry. Hi Hassam. Hi Mo. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Market. I appreciate that a lot. 